Now let's talk about optimizing your map. The way you optimize your maps in Chrome Editor is by using occluders and portals. These are very important and every map should be optimized. Go under type and choose occluder. Insert it right into your map and double click and go inside the properties. Under occluders you have occluder type. Go ahead and select. You have plain single sided and plain double sided. So select double sided and here you have an option between an occluder and a portal and we'll talk about portals in just a bit. Next you have you can activate one too far, deactivate one too far and click any of these you set it to disable. So go up to rendering controls go under miscellaneous enabled and render type select render all occluders so this way you can test what it looks like also by selecting you can render chosen occluders only and render occlusion volumes so I choose render all occluders and before you could see it take effect you have to hide helpers so go ahead and turn off hide helpers and now you're able to see how occluders will affect and render your environment what the occluders help with is they stop rendering objects behind occluders so this helps to speed up your map so here we are able to see that we are not able to render the objects behind the occluders so this helps with the frames per second and with optimizing our map so now you get to see how occluders work so let's position one inside our house and let's use portals to define the windows so we can see through the windows but not see through the walls. So go ahead and position your occluders inside the house. Now that we position positioned our occluder inside the house, let's turn off helpers and as we look through our window we can see that it stops rendering our terrain. So we need to fix that by using portal. So what we need to do is create a new occluder, insert it into the map and Using the box is fine. Rotate it. You need to position it inside where the window is. So let's scale this in a little bit more. So position it right inside the window. What the portal will do is it will carve out that section inside our occluder. And next is we need to set our occluder as portal. The big one is the occluder and the small one is going to be the hole and that's the portal. So set that to portal and you need to parent it to the occluder. So go into your occluder and notice that the ID is set to 1. Now select your portal and where it says parent ID set this to 1. So now we can see that our portal is working that we can see through and we everything renders fine and where we see the door is we don't have a portal so nothing renders through it. So, very important. We have our occluder. Notice its ID set to 1. And right here, we have another occluder, which is set to portal. And parent ID is parented to the occluder. So, having occluders and portals is a must have for every map you create. Now, let's cover some of the classes that we did not talk about. So, on the class, we're able to change objects to certain classes. Now, not all objects are able to support all classes. So, Equipment Spawner, this is where you would set to spawn equipment. So, in this, in this case, we can spawn ammo. And by clicking, we can do dynamite, arrows, rifle, shotgun, th grenade throw, CO2. Here, this is where you would set throwing grenades or lamps. Uh, you need to define an owner. Uh, in this case, we could, we could set it to this guy. And target. Uh, we can set it to the player and then maximum height uh, in centimeters so we can set this up and uh, we can set ammo type grenade means dynamite uh, you can set it to lamp uh, another important thing is switch this to local and by setting the rotation the blue axis is where it would be thrown from so the pivot point is very important and the blue axis is where the trajectory will start so making sure that you rotate properly and this is where it will come from so this is this would be the starting point and it will follow along the blue axis next we have a ladder this is how you would set up a ladder to climb up and down so this is very important this is how you would set up a ladder 
is define the class to the letter type. A lethal object, this is where you would set up to give damage to your player or specific uh, AI, uh, damage that it will cause when the player enters. Rejected objects, this is where you would define who you want to damage and who you uh, want not to damage. Uh, you want to set this collision from game script. Uh, you can enable this on start, you can turn this on and off. Uh, next, movie action executor. Um, if you go to cojmodern.com under tutorials, scroll down and here uh, creating cutscenes you can find out more about uh, that particular class. Player agile disabler. When you use a crate and when you get close to it you know how you come up and you just peek around corners so if you want to disable that system if you want to disable um, objects from being able to use the hideout system behind it use this class player agile disabler and uh, scale this up and put all the objects inside it so everything that's going to be inside this viz box uh, you will not uh, come up to the object and use the hideout system it will disable it ramp is this is where you would use a ramp class to create ramps stairs box by enabling and setting this class to stair box. This allows for AI to use the stairs. So if I have stairs, so if I have stairs right here and I set this and I position it over the stairs themselves, it needs to be scaled up the the remainder of stairs. The AI will be able to use the stairs to go up. Uh, but first you must go to the AI under mask type in stairs and AI use stairs you must be set to true. Alright, next are some other ones. Uh, let's go under go under trigger objects. Open this up. Open up actors. Under actors, you have a lot more classes to choose from. Actor single physics. Uh, you can open this up. We have llama and ASP that we used in our previous tutorials. Under llama and actor, uh, dead ragdoll. Place a man into our map. Change this to dead ragdoll. So if I position them right up here, and then I use impulse physics. Uh, set up glass, you can set up fake targets for Gatling guns, stationary cannon, you can set up your cannons, your Gatling big, Gatling small, Gatling on the big wagon, and for the final thing let's cover how to place uh, weapons. So type in mask ammo and you can insert some ammo, some ammo boxes around, and by going into class ammo shotgun, some properties you have ammo capacity, count, and under skins you can have it open closed next let's uh, put some weapons down so if you go under all go under objects equipment here you have your ammo uh, but if you scroll down a little you have classic shooters you have your uh, the rest of the equipment so going under uh, classic shooters you can place a classic shooter right in there and by going inside the properties so by uh, going under class and opening up the peacemaker here you have different four different classes that you can set so for this weapon class setting the specific weapon class will kinda will define the type of skin that this uh, weapon will get so by setting some of uh, let's say rusty it will be set to rusty if you just have peacemaker and you set the skin to default grand superb it will just go back to default so you need to set a more specific class. Let me place a rifle in here. The class is defined as weapon rifle Remington and here if you open this up it has the same same deal. So you have to define more specific class and then set the skin depending on the class that you choose. So by going back into our pistol uh, setting Peacemaker Alpha is Grant skin. If we change it to Beta is superb. Uh, rusty is rusty. And to use the default, uh, you set this back to weapon pistol peacemaker. So remember, if you set weapon pistol peacemaker to any of the skins, the game will default back to its default skin. So the class defines what kind of skin will be included when you spawn inside the game.